How long did it take Noah to build the ark? Some say 120 years. Is this true? Well, I'm Aiden and welcome to A Pastor's Life for Me. So there is debate as to how long it took Moses to build the ark. Like I said before, some say it took about 120 years, while others say maybe a couple decades. Well first, I'd like to point out that it was Noah who built the ark, and if that went over your head, just go back 10 seconds. The debate revolves around Genesis 6-3, which says, Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not abide in man forever, for he is flesh. His days shall be 120 years. The question then arises, what is God referring to when he speaks of the 120 years? Well, the first option is that the current people on the earth will only live for another 120 years. Since God is going to flood the earth. Therefore, their days will only be 120 years longer, since after that, they're all gonna die. God then calls Noah to build the ark, so then it must have taken Noah 120 years to build it. The second option is that God is reducing the human lifespan down to 120 years. Remember Genesis chapter 5, which speaks about people living to be in their 900s. But because of mankind's wickedness, God is going to shorten their lifespan. One can do a whole lot less evil and bring a whole lot Lot less corruption about in 120 years than in 900 years. So when God says man's days will be 120, he's referring to their lifespan. So which option is right? Well, I would argue that the second option, that man's lifespan is decreased. And there are several reasons for this. The first being that we actually do see the lifespan of mankind decrease after the flood. So Noah lived to be 950 years old, but his son Shem only lived to be 600. Shem's grandson Shelah lived to be 433, but Shelah's grandson only lived to be 239. And only three generations later, Nahor lived to be 148. So you can see that after only 10 generations, the lifespan of mankind has greatly decreased. Going from 900 down to 150 or even 200 is a significant decrease. It wouldn't be too many generations more before the age would go down to about 120. The second reason actually has to do with Noah's son Shem. If the 120 years is referring to how long until the flood, and how long it took Noah to build the ark, then the timeline doesn't add up. When God called Noah to build the ark, he already had his three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. But in Genesis 11.10, it says, These are the generations of Shem. When Shem was 100 years old, he fathered Arkpashad two years after the flood. So by this, it would have actually been impossible for Noah to have taken 120 years to build the ark, since his son was only alive for 98 years once the flood came. So we can positively declare that it didn't take Noah 120 years to build the ark. So those are the two big reasons why I believe the 120 years refers to man's lifespan. Now a case can be made that there is a time break between Genesis 6, 1 to 4 and Genesis 6, 5 and onward. That would mean God said 120 years, but many years later called Noah to build the ark. I would disagree with this because Genesis 6 is moving in the direction of God wiping out the earth but saving Noah and his family. But it is an argument. I believe that the evidence does seem to point more so towards a 120 year lifespan because man's lifespan does greatly decrease after the flood. So there you go, that's the 120 years of man, and I think what many of you are more so here for, did it take Noah 120 years to build the ark? No, it didn't, and I don't believe that it took him nearly that long. Some will argue that maybe it took him 70 years, while there are others who say that he could have comfortably have done it in 20 years or maybe even less. But really, we have no idea how long it took him. Just that by faith, he was obedient to the call that God had given him. Subscribe to the channel, Give this video a like, and remember to know the word, do the word, and share the word, but as always, we do it in love.